Hello everyone and welcome to my presentation. First of all, let me thank you all for watching this video and thanks to the conference organizers for giving us the opportunity to share our knowledge about nonlinear systems together. My name is Elham Estiri and I recently graduated with a master's degree in biomedical engineering. As you can see on the screen, our topic is adaptive synchronization and hyperchaos control of a non-autonomous biological system which is a collaboration between Dr. Sajjadi, Professor Baliano, Dr. Jajarmi, and me. The subject can be looked for under the following headings. First of all, there's an introduction. Next, I represent a six-dimensional model of non-autonomous biological system. After that, I'll show you how an effectual control approach is applied to the system to overcome hyperchaos. Then two identical hyperchaotic oscillators are synchronized by an adaptive control scheme. In the second part of the presentation, a fractional order form of non-autonomous biological oscillator is presented. Then using an state feedback control scheme, we control the obnoxious hyperchaotic behavior of the system. Then an active control has synchronized two identical model of the oscillator in its fractional form. Finally, I'll present conclusion results and we'll have the discussion. Chaos is one of the most important features of nonlinear dynamical systems. Systems whose state variables are highly dependent to their initial conditions, which finally leads to the divergent behavior of such systems. This fact shows that detailed study regarding chaotic phenomena is of great importance. Nowadays, chaos has appeared in different fields of study, such as economy, physics, secure communication, etc. The investigation of chaos in biology has attracted the attention of biochemical engineers as well. Because biological systems show an unpredictable behavior that can be revealed by chaos. In addition, a noticeable number of researchers have used fractional systems because of their memory-oriented features, which makes them more realistic compared to their integer order counterparts. Biochemical oscillators play a vital role in biology. Many biological systems have been simulated by biochemical oscillators, such as heartbeat, the circadian rhythm of sleep, and cellular oscillations. So, stabilization techniques like optimal control must be used to overcome the chaotic oscillations of biological systems. Moreover, synchronization schemes aim to suppress the situation when a short or, or long spatial scale difference occurs between oscillators. Therefore, the employment of appropriate control actions is essential to synchronize two identical chaotic systems which are highly sensitive to initial conditions. Hence, pro the problems of stabilization and synchronization have been of great importance from the both biological and mathematical points of view. Based on the aforementioned arguments, this research introduces an integer model as well as a new fractional formulism for a non-autonomous hyperchaotic cardiac oscillator. Then we establish the hyperchaotic behaviors of both models using optimal controllers based on Pontryagin's maximum principles. Afterwards, we synchronize two identical hyperchaotic oscillators in the frameworks of both classical and fractional equations by applying an adaptive controller and active compensator. Simulation results at the end of every section verify the effectiveness of the proposed modeling, optimal control, and synchronization strategies. In this part, the integer mathematical model of the cardiac oscillator is introduced. As there exists a noticeable similarity between the behaviors of classical van der Poel oscillator and the qualitative features of some nonlinear biological systems such as heart and lungs in human body, the van der Poel equation is used in this part, in which the chaotic or non-chaotic behaviors, behaviors 
depend on the values of the parameters alpha, beta, and gamma. If we, if we consider heart in the body as a nonlinear oscillatory system, then the cardiac conduction must be taken into account as a combination of two subsystems, which, refers, which refer to arterial sinus node and arteri uh, arterioventricular node and QRS complex. So the following in extended integer order model includes six types of variables which show SA node, AV node, and QRS complex. This figure shows the phase portrait of the system for three state variables F2, F3, and F4, and its projection in three different planes is as can be seen in these figures. It is obvious that the system has a hyperchaotic behavior. In order to stabilize the hyperchaotic behavior of the integer order non-autonomous system, we use the optimal controller based on Pontryagin's maximum principle. Considering the system previously introduced, the performance index is as shown here, where WI and UI are weighing coefficients. EI is the ith coordinate of the equilibrium point of the system, and the boundary conditions for the state variables are also considered by these equations. After considering necessary conditions of optimality, we can say that optimal control signal is computed by these equations. We assume that TF is equal to 5, WI and VI is equal to 1, and initial conditions is like this. This figure shows the first state variable of the system, with red trajectory being variable in absence of optimal control and blue trajectory being variable in presence of optimal control. And here are next variables in sequential order, F2, F3, F4, F5, and finally F6. It is obvious that all the state variables converge and stay in near the origin. In the next section, we synchronize two identical hyperchaotic cardiac oscillators for integer, order, uh, for integer model. Generally, nonlinear, non-autonomous biological systems are hard to synchronize due to the complexity of their behaviors. Thus, we apply a systematic synchronization action plan to reach the synchronization purposes in this section. To this aim, we consider this equation as the slave system, in which UI and GI are the control input and the state variables of the slave model. Considering the error of synchronization like this equation, the master system and a slave system can be globally and asymptotically synchronized by using this control law. Synchronized state variables of integer order cardiac oscillators is shown in this figure and other state variables as well. F2 and G2, F3 and G3, F4 and G4, F5 and G5, and F6 and G6. As it is obvious, state variables are greatly synchronized. And this figure shows the error of synchronization. Also, it is obvious that all errors converge to zero. As I mentioned earlier, memory effects play an important role in the modeling and simulation of biological phenomena. Due to this noticeable feature, we introduce the fractional model of the hyperchaotic cardiac oscillatory system under consideration. So the fractional model of the considered biological system is like this one, which indicates the memory-oriented features of fractional calculus. And this figure shows the phase portrait of the system for three state variables F2, F3, and F4, and its projection in three different planes is as can be seen 
in these figures, which is obvious that it's, it's hyperchaotic as well. And in this part, we, pr we propose an optimal chaos controller to diminish the hyperchaotic behaviors of the non-autonomous cardiac oscillator. The purpose is to obtain an optimal control signal which minimizes the objective function introduced before. In order to solve fractional equations, we should derive the necessary uh, optimality conditions. For this purpose, we consider the scalar Hamilton function like this, where m0 is the integrand function in performance index, mi is the right hand, hand side of the fractional equation in the main model, and gi is the Lagrange multiplier, which is also known as co-state variables. Considering the necessary optimality conditions and utilizing the predictor corrector method and a for forward backward sweep iterative algorithm control input is like this and this is the controlled and uncontrolled state variables and other figures also shows the state variables of the system f2 f3 f4 f5 and finally f6 these figures show that the hyperchaotic behaviors of the fractional non-autonomous cardiac oscillator are controlled by the presented optimal controller. So the controlled fractional cardiac system reveals stable periodic solutions. And in the, in the next section, we design an efficient active control. <coughs> A strategy to synchronize two cardiac oscillators in form of fractional equations. To do so, the system is considered as as the slave model, and the fraction and the fractional model introduced previously is considered as the master. This equation is the synchronization error. And using the error of synchronization and its dynamic, the control input is considered to be like this equation, with R being active control input, which must be obtained such that the master and the slave systems are synchronized. We chose R as this equation, where R is like this matrix. And here is the simulation results for all the state variables as shown here f2 and g2 f3 and g3 f4 and g4 f5 and g5 and finally f6 and g6 and this figure shows the error of synchronization for for the fractional order cardiac oscillator this figure showed that the state variables are properly synchronized and errors converged to zero. In this work, the hyperchaotic behaviors of a non-autonomous cardiac oscillator were, were investigated in both frames of integer and fractional, and an optimal control strategy is, up, is applied to both models using Pontryagin's principles of optimality. Then an active control and adaptive control have been used to synchronize two identical systems. As we saw, the application of fractional calculus in this work presented a more realistic and flexible performance to design well-organized control strategies, as fractional order models can de describe memory effects which are the essential features of many biological processes. Thank you all for your attention.